You are looking live at the search for a suspected bank bandit who police say is armed and dangerous, and this is on, unfolding on Philadelphia's main line. Police have already apprehended three suspects, including one seen here cuffed and lying on the ground. Ground zero for the main line manhunt is now Villanova. Wednesday night, the big story on Action News tonight is breaking news from the area of Montgomery Avenue and Spring Mill Road. That's where Action News reporter Dan Cuellar is live. Dan, what is the situation there right now? Well, Jim, we have a very active scene here along Montgomery Avenue, Spring Mill Road, and Greenwood Courts areas of the main line here in Villanova and Lower Marion as police continue to hunt for this fourth suspect. They have a 10-block area sealed off, causing a more than the usual gridlock here along Montgomery Ave. On the scene right now is Lower Marion, Upper Marion, and Pennsylvania State Police in this very ritzy section of the main line in Villanova and Lower Marion. Uh, there are behind me, police have sealed off a mansion on a huge property off the 1700 block of Montgomery Avenue looking for the guy. Some of the officers are armed with shotguns. Chopper 6 was on the scene as one of the four suspects was captured and handcuffed on the grounds of the Haas estate, as in Roman Haas, a huge estate here on the main line in Villanova. They were being sought in connection with a bank robbery at the National Penn Bank in Lower Pottsgrove about 2.40 this afternoon. Police say the four alleged robbers fled in a Silver sedan, not blue, as earlier reported, and the police chased unfolded. The man or the men ditched a car at Greenwood Court off Montgomery Avenue, where within an hour, police and canine units had three of the suspects in custody. Now, as the search continued, nearby Villanova University was put on lockdown to avoid a man presumed to be armed and dangerous coming in contact with students and faculty there. Meanwhile, all of this activity has proved a bit unnerving to residents unaccustomed to all of this kind of stuff. It's a little weird, you know. You're not used to seeing the police with their shotguns out and the helicopters all over the place. So, But, uh, you know, I have total confidence in the Larimer Police Force, that's for sure. This has never happened before. I don't know. We have, I, I really can't tell you. It's, it's a yeah. little difficult getting around uh, the streets and everyone, the, all the backup and the traffic and all. So what have you decided to do? Be in a holding pattern here? Yes, I think so. Right now. Right. Right. It's probably the wildest thing that ha has happened in this neighborhood um, since... Um, uh, a, a, a few dogs were were born maybe five or six years ago in our neighbor's house. Uh, <laughs> you know, nothing. It's, it's quiet, um, and um, this this is just really a freaky kind of experience. Back live here along Montgomery Ave, where you can see the gridlock caused uh, by all of this activity with residents unable to get to some of their blocks, uh, and some of them just wondering what in the world is going on out here as they're uh, passing by, trying to get to and from. But as you see, police have sealed off. Here's a mansion at 1700 Montgomery, uh, where they're actively looking uh, for this guy. We also have a state police helicopter that's flying above, really low, uh, looking along these huge estates out here for this guy. But so far, it's been over, well, almost going on two hours now and they still have not located him back to you jim all right dan we'll get back if the situation warrants